you thought witch doctors were a thing of past, think again. I sold my soul to Satan, but they are conditioned. You had opened the door to yes. demonic spirits. Exactly. What happened? Join us around the table as we dive into the consequences of engaging in the occult. You need to understand that every kind of sin that you're committing down here, there is a price to pay. Right now on Joni Table Talk. I have a lot of great friends. It would behoove you to listen to what I got to say. We love to get together and talk. I really see myself as a compassionate person, and people really matter to me. No topic is too shocking, and no subject is too tough. One thing that I love in my life as a minister of the gospel, to see the captive being set free from the bondage of the evil one. My friends have an opinion about everything. I can't help it. So grab a seat and join the conversation. This is Joni Table Talk. Welcome to Table Talk. Today we'll be discussing a topic that Hollywood and the rest of the world seems fascinated with, the occult. And I promise you, this is one discussion you don't want to miss. Joining me around the table today is my dear friend, Melanie Brando. How are you? I'm wonderful. Awesome. I'm glad to be here. And also my dear friend, Benita Arterberry Burns. How are you? I am so blessed. Are you blessed? Happy to be, yeah. Well, blessed it's always to be good to have you, you here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you learn a lot from being learn here. Learn a time. lot. I yeah. know. <laughs> Well, me, me probably should be both. paying tuition or something. <laughs> we, we love it. And Cindy Murdoch, how are you? I'm great, thank you. It's so good to have thank you. you. And our very special guest, Pastor Ahambe, is here. Welcome. Thank you, thank you very much. God bless you. So I good to have you. Thank I you I said, very do you feel much. safe with all these ladies at Table Oh, yeah, today? I feel safe. <laughs> okay. Women are more secure than men. Let's tell a little bit of your testimony for those viewers that may not have heard your story. I know yes. you, we've shared it many times, yes. but uh, we've never shared it on Table Talk. So let's go back to the beginning. You were raised in uh, the I Congo was, area? Yes, I was raised in Congo. It used to be called Zaire. Yes. And the country has changed names several times. And um, raised by a Christian family. My father and mother was trained by American missionary, well-trained. They knew the Bible cover to cover, but yet one thing was missing in their life. It was the power of the Holy Spirit. And uh, I was raised as a, every child looking for success. Uh, one, as the firstborn in Africa, uh, you are automatically going to take uh, responsibility of your family. So that means you have to do well in school. And uh, so one day you can graduate and uh, find a job and take care of your family. So as you know, Sister Johnny, I was suffering with what you call a lack of intellectual capacity. I was the last of my class. That pushed me to go and start seeking help. I went to church and uh, did not get that help from, the, from, from, from my pastor that time. Why? I don't blame him because uh, he did not know about the power of the Holy Spirit. It takes the Holy Spirit to set mankind free. Mm -hmm. So I had that desire, I start searching. And if the church cannot provide what mankind are looking for, because I believe the church today is a spiritual hospital where man goes with their problem and their struggle. And if a man of God is not uh, uh, filled with the Holy Ghost, does not believe in the filling of the Holy Ghost, those people are gonna come desperate. They can leave the church with their monkey on the shoulder. That's what happened to me. Uh, I went to see a friend, talked to a friend. He said, I know somebody who can help you. When I went to see this witch doctor, look at me straight in the eyes and start telling me about things I wanted to hear about the future. And uh, he told me, first of all, about, he spent most of his time telling me about the past. And then he started telling me about my future. And one of the things he said, you know, I see you traveling, going a far away country, and that will be America. And uh, start telling me all these things. Say, one of the things you are suffering is a lack of intellectual capacity. And I can help you. I can help you. And this was like music to your ears. Oh, it was a music to my ear, and I loved it. You know, when you hear the good word or you receive a good prophecy for a man of God, it will make your soul happy. 
you will feel encouraged regardless of the suffering, the pain that you're going, you're going to be so excited. That's exactly. I thought this witch doctor knew God more than my pastor. That's the thing attracted me because well, I was suffering. And because one of the things, the area that you lived in, there, there was a lot of the occult and witchcraft and supernatural things yes. that took place. So that yes. when you didn't see the power of the Holy Spirit stronger and in operation in the church, then many of the young people like yourself would be drawn towards this supernatural power that was not from God. Exactly. It was indeed real. Exactly. So that's what I encourage men and women of God to spend most time in prayer, fasting, and, and just to allow the Holy Spirit. God is willing to set the captive free. That's one of the reasons the church is here on earth, yes, to set the good. captive free. And so you went to the witch doctor and said, um, yes, what do I have to do to, yeah. to have all these things happen in my life? And what did he say? Did he say it's free? Oh, yeah, he said free. Of course, in Africa, the one who has a, a power from the devil will not ask you one dollar. He won't ask you no money because he's after something. He's after your soul. soul. Yes. Wow. And he did not ask me anything. So I went and said, hey, what is it going to take for me to get what I want? He said, son, no problem. Come and I'll give you what you desire. Finally, he wind up giving me power to seduce women. I was able that time, I can just look at the woman without talking, having conversation. A woman will be behind me. So I wind up having, I don't know, my God, 100 something girlfriends. Sex became a hobby, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then he say, I will, I will help you to be able to get, to get, uh, to get uh, 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 power. Uh, you'll be passing your classes. I wind up having a magical pain. Uh, okay, they were asking me a question, and that question orally I wasn't able to answer. But by writing, uh, they'll be answering all the questions, but ask me the same question I just answered. <laughs> nothing. My head, nothing. But what was really behind that pain it was a demon spirit. Demon have the ability, the church today, they are minimizing this teaching. Teach the people that the devil still have power here on earth. He's working, looking who he may devour. And his enemy are in, in the churches today. So the, so the witch doctor gave you a magic pen. Yes. And so when you would go into your classes to take your test, mm -hmm. and you had been failing, yes. he said, use this pen. You're and you pass. Will succeed. So you'd go in and the pen would write for you. You would write, answer all the question, A plus, but ask me the same question I just answer, zero. And I start passing my classes without giving anything to the witch doctor. Hmm. My goodness. And, and after having that, I had whatsoever I was looking, women, I had uh, uh, success and everything, so called success, which was not really success. And uh, finally, I sold my soul to Satan. Just for somebody maybe listening like myself, when you sat and talked with the witch doctor, you were a Christian. Did, did he, you said he, you believed he knew the Lord. And so that kind of drew you in. But did he ever, did you know that witchcraft was about evil? To me, he was a, a man that knew God because of that the supernatural so power that is really okay. attracting our children today. Yes, they are, a lot of them comes to me with uh, what you call automatic writing here in America. Mm -hmm. Messed up. So finally there was a price. There was a price. So, but he drew you in, but finally he said, if you want to continue to experience these things, there's yes. something you have to do. What was that? You need to understand, everyone who's involved into the occult, there is a price to pay. That price, first of all. A lot of time they're going to ask you to give a human being sacrifice. Mm. In Africa, when you go and see a witch doctor who does not uh, ask you for money, know that to the end, even these people who are in Hollywood and have a big position and even some basketball players, they have sold their soul to Satan so they can have success and power. So what's happened? They requested. The man requested to say, I need a living, a living being sacrificed. Things that I have not probably shared here because my testimony, I'm very careful when I'm sharing. Because